Hi Pisces and welcome to your Love Tarot Forecast. This is for June 1st through June 15th, 2019. I'm going to start your reading off by pulling a couple of cards for overall energies, Pisces, and then we will go from there. So let's see what's coming out for you guys. Okay, so we have secrets, things hidden about the past, and we have hearts reunite, falling in love again. All right, Pisces, listen, um, whether you are single or you are in a committed relationship, what I feel about this is, um, well, I guess I should separate that. Okay, so those of you in a committed relationship, what I feel um, is a lot of stuff that um, you guys haven't talked about, you haven't worked on, you know, just different things that have accumulated throughout the course of your relationship. It's like finally all that energy is resolving, okay? And it's like... Um, if you tend to sweep your problems under the rug because you guys would rather have connection, we're not doing that anymore. It's like you're facing everything head on in your relationship so that you guys can heal it and overcome it and move forward. Um, big desire of that for couples. Uh, and even if it's like not about problems and issues, it's like Pisces, you guys... Um, are becoming really ambitious like you guys want to take things to the next level like buy a house go on a certain vacation buy a car have a baby get married you know it just depends on the next level of your personal relationship but if it's not about how you've handled things and different issues that you haven't dealt with it's about your next step and the energy of this these pairing is no matter what it is you guys are facing it head-on overcoming it moving forward if you guys want to achieve something new in your relationship you're united and you're both reaching for it and in that process there's this uh, essence of falling in love again and man Pisces you are my last reading and I swear to you that is just like the theme for this first two weeks of June is like couples falling in love like the first time you know the spark really reigniting um I'm seeing a lot of uh, people coming back together, uh, reconciliations, all right, and um, a lot of new relationships, meeting an instant connection, and where it's like it just goes really fast, okay? So Pisces, um, coupled up, you guys are really overcoming something and moving to the next level, and it's good, and you're like reconnecting emotionally and spiritually. Um, single Pisces out there, you have somebody coming back into your world with hearts reunite, um, falling in love again. There are definitely reconciliations and whatever you didn't understand about that person or why the relationship didn't work or if they just straight out ghosted you, um, you're going to, they're going to reveal it all. Like everything you were confused about, that relationship, that connection, that person, like you're going to find out um, this first two weeks of June. And it's either because you guys are coming back together to be romantic again, or it's like you guys are talking and they're telling you and they're explaining to you why certain things happened, why they did X, Y, Z, okay? So you'll be getting a lot of understanding and clarity, which brings you peace of heart and peace of mind. Um, but definitely some of you are going to be reuniting with somebody. And then um, it's just like single singles, you want to know what this to me, hot chance of some good lovin's coming your way, Pisces, um, you singles out there. It doesn't have to be reuniting with somebody you know, but it could also be um, where you've had this friend and they've had a secret crush on you for a very long time and they're about to reveal it or you're about to pop out with that okay um, it could definitely be something like that for Pisces where somebody's like well Pisces let me just let you know I've been feeling you for a really long time do I have any chance whatsoever All right, so we have the Divine Feminine of Flames. This could be 
a fire sign you're dealing with, Aries Leo Sag. We have the Messenger of Roses, Invitation for Building Future Plans. Next out, we have the Ace of Flames, New or Reigniting Flame. Look at that. And lastly, we have Illumination, Restoration, Revelations, Visions. Oh my gosh, uh, Pisces, I don't think these could be any more perfect from the message that I've already received uh, from those two cards there. Listen to me, Pisces. Uh, new or reigniting flame. Yes, you have that twice. So I do feel that there is definitely reconciliations for Pisces. Um, and again, this could be where we're just talking with this illumination. We're talking about things so that you understand. It could be like you're coming together for closure. But for some of you, this is definitely like we're coming back together because th this person wants to be with you, Pisces, or you are deciding that you want to get back with somebody because that's the person for you. No matter what it is, you're going to understand why it couldn't work out in the past and any secrets or things that were hidden. It's like it's all coming to light. There's no secrets. It's everything's being put out on the table for those of you who are reconciling. Um, and the reason why it's this honest is because you know both of you are genuine in your desire to have a real relationship with each other this time around or again we're coming back together to put it all on the table for closure to give that to each other you know just depending on your personal situation single Pisces if this is not a reunitement you have a high probability of meeting um, a new a new flame okay uh, invitation for building future plans. Listen, if you, all things you are invited to do with friends, with family, to get yourself out there, do it because, again, you have this really high chance of meeting somebody that you um, are compatible with, okay? Also, with the illumination, um, there's something about your energy, Pisces, this first two weeks of June where I feel like people are noticing you more. You're very attractive, very charismatic to people. They're drawn into you. Your energy is quite magnetic, okay? So, single Pisces, Get out and about. Get on the scene this first two weeks of June. There is a love potential for you, a love connection out there for you. Um, again, high probability of reconnecting or running into an old flame. All right. Those of you in existing commitments, you guys, like I said, you're overcoming the past. You're going to the next level. It's good energy. I mean, fire, fire. This would be the sun. So you got all this fire energy and then the messenger of roses which is earth energy so you're pulling all of these ethers all this fire energy down into reality um, anchoring it down so I know some Pisces are committed you guys are going to the next level whatever that means for you personally okay um, if it's like also with this it's like again overcoming healing the past just things you guys haven't wanted to deal with and it, we're facing it head on, overcoming it, moving forward. Great, great energy. So let's pull some more cards, Pisces. All right, so we have Forever Changed. We have Other Influences. We have Incredible Heartbreak. And we have Admiration. There's that person, Pisces, that might be watching coming out with the hey Pisces I'm all about you I got a crush on you um, do I have a chance so Pisces some of you do have an admirer just gotta say that okay listen Pisces those of you who um, are reconciling reuniting with somebody I feel there was other factors involved in um, why you guys couldn't work out or whatever happened and again that's what's gonna be revealed and explained to you and listen no matter what it looked like, Pisces, they hurt just as bad as you did. 
um, through the breakup, through the separation, whatever happened, okay? Forever changed, you impacted them. There's an imprint on your on their heart with you, with your name. Um, and same goes for you. So those of you that are reuniting with somebody, um, you both really hurt and over each other. No matter what happened, what it looked like, it was equal pain, okay? Um, there was other things involved in this more than just you guys, why you guys didn't work out the first time around. Um, and again, that's the stuff that will be revealed. Everything's being put out on the table. This is not, um, you know, BS. Uh, this reunitement is like, we everybody has to reveal their hand. And it's like a requirement. And it's like the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but. And even though there might be some fear around that, Pisces, the truth, all of it, that's what, what sets you guys free. Whether you guys are going to reconcile and be back in love, or you guys are laying it all, all, all out there to give each other closure and healing and peace and um, becoming accountable for your part in the relationship, okay? I, I really feel like th those are both very strong scenarios for those of you who are reuniting with somebody. And um, I just feel like uh, even if there's fear, to be totally honest, do it because that's what lets you guys move forward. That's what lets you guys come back together or that's what lets you guys both finally free yourself from this heartache, okay? Um, and man, Pisces, listen, some of you have an admirer, just going to say that, like, and I feel like they're about to reveal that because this um, admiration sits right under illumination, okay, and secrets. So, uh, Pisces, I strong, strong possibility for you guys that you have somebody who has just been kind of watching, admiring all about you and it's going to put it out there and try to capture your heart, okay? Or since this is general, Pisces, um, if you've really been admiring somebody, I think you're going to get brave enough to put, put it out there and see if you can capture their heart, all right? Um, those of you in committed relationships, it's that similar message of where you're just putting it all out on the line, like all cards on the table, facing um, your issues and overcoming them, overcoming some really heavy heartache. Maybe one of you or both of you, um, this could be where maybe one of you has a lot of emotional baggage that you've been dealing with. It doesn't have to be like this has stacked up in the relationship itself. It could be like one of you has just had a lot gone through a lot in their life and there's a lot of baggage there and this first two weeks of June it's like you guys as a couple um, are working on the healing of that person okay and it's a huge breakthrough brings you even closer forever change it's like whatever's happening here Pisces the shift the change the reunion it's permanent moving forward okay it's not just this flaky right now for five minutes no this is a big shift a big change and Pisces who are single um, like I said get out and about you do not have to be single there is uh, several options for you for what I see in this reading right here okay so let's pull a few more cards Pisces Alright, so we have Ace of Heart Energy, and that's coming right out under this forever change. Yeah, this is new love right here, Pisces, or uh, reuniting love, falling in love again, or existing connections where, like I said, you guys are facing everything head on, and it just takes you to the whole, uh, to like a whole new level. So you have... Um, the Ace of Flames and the Ace of Heart Energy in Standard Tarot deck. This would be the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Wands, all right? So that should give you an idea. Um, those of you where we are reuniting with somebody, man, it's just like one of you guys or both of you guys have come to the conclusion that you will never love another the way that you loved each other or something about the connection that you guys shared and wow um, we have the ace of twin flames now so you have two ace of wands yeah we now to me we've got twin flame energy coming through 
three aces. This right here, Ace of Twin Flames, um, is exactly what I just said. Something about your connection, there it's unlike any other. Like they can't find it in, in anybody else, and you can't find it in anybody else. And that's why you guys are coming back together. Um, Pisces singles, listen, with three aces here. That's why I'm saying I'm seeing a lot of options for you guys. So don't stay stuck in the house. Get out and about because, man, Cupid is just busy this first two weeks of June. And um, those of you in existing commitments, here's just the confirmation of what I've been saying. How once you guys uh, face whatever this baggage is, you guys, boom, it's like falling in love all over again. And look at this. Uh, we have the two of karmic energy. This right here is um, some of you that are connected. This heartache, this trauma, this turmoil that exists within the relationship or within one of you has a lot to do with um, family members that uh, just um, one of you could have had like a really hard childhood or there just could be like... Um, family members who have lied, who have uh, stolen, just bad family members, okay, because that sits under the incredible heartbreak. So I know some of you, this baggage is about something that your family has done to one of you or to the relationship itself, or this could even be like some really bad friends, but um, this right here for you coupled, this is what you're overcoming. This is the emotional baggage that's being healed. Um, those of you who are separated from somebody and you're reuniting with this card and this card, there was a lot of outside influence, whether it's karmics, um, disapproval of friends or family. There's just some element of that where um, that caused some rift between the two of you. That might have been the part of the secret or what you've been left in the dark about. And now as you come back and reunite, this person is just straightforward about it and tells you everything, okay? Like, my family didn't approve of you, or um, I was still really hung up on a karmic, or um, my friends, you know, it's just, it's different for all of you. But whatever it was, Pisces, you're not going to be left in the dark about it. Like, they're going to be straight because they want to be with you, okay? Like, they want to make it work with you, Um so, yeah, we'll just pull another card. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Nine of ego energy. And, you know, I don't even need to tell you what this card's about. You can see it depicted in the image. Somebody made a really bad choice, okay? Um, those of you who are going to reunite, um, the person who was influenced by somebody else or went off into another relationship over you, they have... Oops, sorry about that. Um, they have huge regret about it. Pisces, big time. Um, those of you who are committed, and this has to do with, like, family, I feel like um, the person, you know, whether it's you, Pisces, or your partner that's dealing with this emotional baggage because of family and friends, like, it could have brought them to drink or uh, bring some sort of bad, negative behavior into their life, trying to cope, you know, um, self-medicate um, just to get through this baggage. And Because, again, we've been trying to push it away, push it away. And this first two weeks of June, we're no longer doing that, okay? It's being faced head on, and it's being healed, and it allows you and your partner to really... Um, you know, come together in a way that you haven't before. Um, also, Pisces, some of you, this person, this admirer, this person who has a crush on you, um, I feel like they have a lot of regret that they, some of you, this could be somebody who has been eyeing you for a minute, okay? And they're kind of now in a place of regret that they didn't, like, get on it before. And so now it's like they'll do whatever it takes to win your heart, okay? Again, with the three different aces here, Pisces singles, you guys have options, all right? And they're good options. Um, they're fun options. And with two, uh, two flames, two aces of flames, that's twin flame to me, Pisces. There's, um, you know, somebody out there that you're about to meet that is your one, you singles, or 
those of you who are re reuniting um this you guys definitely could be twin flames i just there's a lot of regret and remorse in somebody for those of you who reunite okay um like tons of it tons of it yeah look at what just fell out as i'm saying that because um whoever walked away or screwed up the relationship they've always felt like you in their heart or Pisces if you're the one that screwed it up you've never stopped caring about them okay so let's see what else comes out you have a great reading Pisces all right so I guess this is a little extra fantasizing we'll see what that's about all right date invitation and heal your wounds oh my gosh Pisces yep I don't need to say any more um this date invitation speaks to those who are reuniting and singles okay somebody's coming back in your world and wants to talk to you wants to take you out wants to set the record straight has been fantasizing about you thinking about you um there's an admirer here who is like oh my god i can't take one more minute i've got to know pisces okay and now those of you in the committed connections boom right there like i said um Whatever that represents for your relationship, Pisces, you guys are finally facing that and doing that so that you can move on from it and go to the next level. And I feel that with um, this card for couples, this is not uh, so much about fantasizing. It's the imagery, which is the butterfly, okay? And especially on the eye, a big shift in perception, a big transformation within the relationship itself because there is a lot of emotional baggage that is being healed and overcome, whether within one person or both of you within this relationship. So, um, coupled up, Pisces, it's beautiful. It's new beginning. It's healing. It's going to the next level. Single Pisces, um, oh my God, it's like you are the, you know, most popular thing over this two weeks with three aces and date invitation, uh, divine feminine of flames. Pisces, you're just turning heads. Your energy is very attractive um, and very captivating so like I said get out and about do not stay in the house if you are single and you want a relationship um, you know go go for walks take yourself out to the movie go to the bookstore go with your friends go to the bar join a dating website you know um, whatever it is you can do because I see more than one option showing up for you and there's a lot of potential in this option those of you who are reuniting um, for like a, to come back together um, I really feel like this is twin flame energy and you guys are gonna be together um, you know there's it's not just like this let's be together and we're gonna fall apart no it, it's like very long term okay and then of course you couples um, you guys are overcoming some things and it's like you're just falling in love all over again okay so um, and again I have to say Pisces somebody is just admiring the crap out of you like you guys may have a few secret crushes on you okay but with illumination there is so much that's gonna come to light for Pisces in regards to love and romance over these next two weeks Hold on to your knickers, okay? So I am wishing you all the best, Pisces. Take care.